me! I don't remember planting an egg. Uh, what's that? I grew it. You're, you grew an egg? Yeah. Uh, that thing is huge. Where do you, where, where'd you get that? Out of the garden. I grew it. You grab an egg you found and you don't even I know grabbed an egg I grew. Okay, you grew an egg apparently and, and you're gonna do what with it? I'm gonna make a whole wedding cake. Oh, I better get this out of the kitchen. You don't even know what made that. You might, it's your funeral. I'm out of here. Today, I found an egg, a giant egg. I'm going to make a giant cake. I was going to make a giant cake, but my egg disappeared. It's, it's gone. So I'm just gonna make some cookies. I was in a mindset that it was, you, you came from it. What are these? Wait, these look like seeds. Are these seeds? Did your egg grow from a seed? And then you grew from the egg? Oh my god! I'm going to make the Yoshi cookie! Alright everyone! So if you're going to be making a Yoshi cookie, the first thing to do is remove your crime fighting gloves and your crime fighting band braces because we are going to be doing some baking and they are not for baking. Also because we're going to be doing some baking, I am going to uh, wash my hands. Now I do have a lot of grime that hides out of my hands. So I'll have to get right between my fingers, because that's where all the grime hides out. Here's a little bit of soap. Uh, rinse them off. It's very good practice. I don't care if it's repetitive. It's very good practice to wash your hands. Now, I very conveniently here, I'm going to tell you my one, two, three step. My one, two, three step is always one part butter, two parts sugar, two parts eggs, and three parts flour. Always match your eggs with your sugar, blah, blah, blah. There we go. In here, I already have my three parts flour. That saved all of the hecticness. So now, what do we have to do? Let's see, a little bit of salt in there. See how quickly we're going? A little bit of baking soda in there. There we go. Now this, a little bit of baking powder. Oh yeah. Oops, did I put too much? I love baking powder. Did I ever tell you guys that I love things that rise? So we'll get these things out of the way, put them right over here, and now we got some vanilla. So we're just making basic cookies right now. They're gonna turn into Yoshi cookies. There we go, a little bit of vanilla extract, but we're not gonna put that away because we're still gonna need it. We're gonna take, shh, you. Oh, love that. That, that is a great sound. And then you get to hear it again when you throw it in the sink. And then we're gonna grab it, shh. Yes. Two eggs. Now, we don't have any sugar in there yet. Hmm. Eyeball the sugar or measure the sugar? Oh. I got a measuring cup right here. But it's so much more fun to just eyeball things, isn't it? All right, so we're gonna put in two cups of sugar. That's one. That's, that's about two cups of sugar right there. And then we're going to take this, and we're going to, uh, I think we're about ready, lower this down. And um, yeah, we're gonna turn this on, start the mixing process, and then we're gonna put in our one part of uh, butter that I was talking about. So we're gonna put in a cup of butter. Here's a half a cup of butter. In you go. And uh, this here is another half cup of butter. In you go. There we go. This is turning out to be way too fast and easy, isn't it? This is how you make cookies, everyone. Now, if I'm gonna be making Yoshi cookies, and I'm gonna be planting those Yoshi seeds onto the cookies, I'm gonna need something to make them stick. So what's the easiest way to stick Yoshi seeds onto a cookie? Uh, frosting! So we're going to make some frosting. First thing that we're going to need for frosting is going to be a little bit of vanilla extract for flavor. The order is not important, but it, you are getting really close. You, you want some cookies, don't you? Okay. And we're going to grab ourselves some, uh, some of this icing sugar. Yeah. 
That's some, I'd say that's some. That's a, that's a good amount of icing sugar. We're gonna grab ourselves some cream. This is 18% cream. That should be plenty right there, but if we have to add more, we always can. And we're gonna grab a fork. And we're just gonna mix this around. This is going to be our vanilla frosting. Now what else could make this into Yoshi cookies, you might be asking? Well, you'll just have to wait for that. So I've got this mixed up. That's gonna be another two minutes or so. Um, I'll see you in two minutes. Well, kids, that was about three minutes, not two minutes. I finished mixing this up, this finished all mixing up. Let's get everything lifted and take a look. Now, this is your most basic cookie dough, which is the reason why I don't go into great lengths to explain it. It's the most basic one, two, three method cookie dough that I know. So let's go ahead and remove this. We'll get this out of the way so you guys can see what's going on here. And um, now, why are these Yoshi cookies? Why, why, why? Because, I'm going to turn them into Yoshi cookies. First, we're gonna stuff our cookie gun here with our cookie dough. By the way, if you want your best results and you're not in a rush like I am, you know how kids are. Kids love their sweets and they want it now. Uh, then uh, you don't have time to refrigerate your dough. Refrigerating your dough is a good idea, but it's not a necessary idea. So we're gonna take this and we're just gonna push it down. All the air pockets out. Ooh, did I overstuff it? That man, you might have overstuffed it, but you're gonna manage. You're gonna manage because you are a professional. Yeah. Aha, okay. Set it to a nice thick, ooh, look at that, I dropped an egg in there. Let's get rid of that. No. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the first egg with you guys watching, and then after that, um, I will uh, let you see when it's all done. And then I'll show you a frosting and then we'll do it all done. So here it comes. We're just going to, we've got to rotate this to have it lock into place. And, oh my gosh. That's because it was too full, by the way. Not because I have scrawny arms and I couldn't screw it on properly. No, it would never be anything like that. So, and, there's an egg, and there's an egg. I'll see you when I have two trays full of eggs. Go. Um, so my oven still has a little bit to go. I'll tell you what to set yours to. Set your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. Uh, but just keep in mind that no matter what I tell you about the time for baking, it's going to differ from oven to oven, including which rack you put it on. I'm going to be putting these on two different racks, so I may have to take them out at two different times. Uh, you may notice that uh, some of them I used a lot, some of them I used a little. So these ones look like your traditional cookies. These ones look like trilobite fossils. And that one, uh, that one right there, I, it's, a, it's a sliver. It's a sliver. Yes. Uh, so my oven is at uh, 335. You know what? It's going to go ding anyways. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put this in. And uh, put that right there. And oh my gosh. I have a plate with bacon grease on it sitting inside of the oven. Uh, hmm, did not even realize that. It is a very, very hot bacon grease plate. We just, we'll just ignore the fact that I have a plate of bacon grease sitting in my oven randomly. Put those in. Now I still have more cookie dough. I just didn't feel like filling up the entire sheet with these things. And it, you are just, Aren't dragons extinct? Uh, are you here for a hug? Oh, okay, yes, yes, yes. Yes, it's a, it's a hug from a dragon. Now, uh, some dragons breathe fire, this one breathes halitosis. Yeah, that's another way of saying you stink. So, everyone, uh, these are gonna take about seven to eight minutes. They're fairly small. Uh, they may take six minutes even, as low as six minutes. What I've got here is I've got my frosting. When they come out, we're gonna let them cool down, and then we're gonna put some frosting on them, and then we'll turn them into Yoshi eggs, because that's what seeds do. They turn into eggs. See you in like seven or eight minutes. All right, it's only been about six minutes, but uh, I can tell that my top rack is ready right now. Just starting to get golden brown on the edges. Uh, bottom rack will take it out in a moment. 
So there they are. Those are going to continue to cook just a little bit. And uh, now we're going to frost in them. You want to wait till they cool off or you want to do this right? You have to. All right, if you're serving at a kid's birthday party, you would need it now and you need it fast and it has to look good. Oh, yes. So we're just putting white frost in because they're eggs. That is the good drizzle. So, uh, I'm not gonna make you watch me do all of these. In fact, I'm only gonna have time to do probably two more before we have to take the other one out of the oven. Stop for a moment right there. And we're gonna turn around. We're gonna turn off our oven. And without even checking them, I know that these ones are done as well. That's our bottom row. Bottom row goes right there. And uh, we'll continue doing this. Uh, I will see you when I'm done frosting all these. All right, uh, so these are all frosted and they're still hot. And uh, let's start with the red seeds. Yes, red seeds. So uh, these are gonna be for your fire breathers. Let's put a little bit there. Yeah, yes. 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 Oh, you want me to go with green? No, okay, well, the, the, the chocolatey. I didn't have enough frosting for all of them. That's okay, yes. Those are a couple of red ones there. And uh, then we're gonna do green Yoshi. The most useless of the Yoshis, but still useful. And it still plays the nice little bongo drums when you get it. Um, children are still going to appreciate your green Yoshi. Now these, I have to let you know that, um, despite the fact that I keep calling them seeds, I'm pretty sure they're chocolate. I'm pretty sure they're chocolate. Let's get a couple of stompy Yoshis in there. Yeah, that's right. That's right, we're gonna stomp them. Uh, did you know that some of the most invincible enemies in Super Mario World can be defeated with a stomp? They seem like they're completely invulnerable and then stomp and they're gone. Now, in some levels, before we get to too many blue Yoshis, you will see an incredible one. So we, that's why we have the big cookies. I'll show you right here. Um, we have the speckled eggs, the speckled ones, where everything goes. So put a green and a red and a blue and a yellow. You capture yourself one of those shells, you could do it all. Now, uh, let's see. We need a couple of fly Yoshis. Now, for most people, this is their favorite Yoshi. So make sure that you make lots of blue ones, because the kids are gonna fight for the blue Yoshis. They, of course, they all taste the same. They all taste the same, but the kids are gonna fight for them. Let's, uh, let's make sure that we, let's make the rest of them blue if we can, which I don't think we're gonna have time to do. This is gonna be a great birthday party. Or any party or cookies for yourself. Mm. Or maybe you're the kind of person that likes to smoke pot. And then you just you just want to have some cookies that make you fly and you have the blue ones. We really uh, we are really lacking on the uh, on the uh, flaming ones, aren't we? Let's put a couple of red ones here. Yeah. Now, here's another thing. I wonder if anyone would notice if we were to make a couple of this. This one has no frosting on it whatsoever. We'll just, we'll just, uh, we'll hide it in green because green is unimpressive. There we go, lots of it. Now, I do want you to know that when we're done with all these chocolates here, we're gonna be putting it back in the oven before our oven has a chance to cool. But we're gonna set our oven to high broil and we're only gonna do it for about 30 to 40 seconds. Uh, just You just want to start to get the chocolate sweating. You want the chocolate to sweat, you want it to sink, you want it to almost be like a chocolate chip lost inside of the cookie. Now, normally I'd say I'll see you in a moment when I've done these, but I'm so close to being done that I'm going to make you watch my entire endeavor. That one's both yellow and red. I bet you didn't know that there was such thing as a yellow and red. Yeah, we'll just call that a pink. Is that how you make pink? I'll just, say, I'll just say yes. Ooh, I wonder what red and green make. I don't know my color combinations, but let's just assume that red and green make... I don't know, so we'll just add a blue one there and say that it turned blue because of the colors that are there. Uh, green and yellow. 
Don't know what that color combination makes, but uh, we'll add a green to it. There we go. We have two cookies left to go. Wow, we are really going through these seeds. Thank you for the seeds, Yoshi. Thank you. Are you heading out to a party after this? Are you going to eat something? Oh. Mm. Uh, these are still hot. Let's go ahead. We're going to go royal on high. Mm hmm. Now, obviously, the bottom row is not going to get the full heat. So, I will see you in 30 seconds when you pull out the top row of cookies. 30 seconds, who knows? Haven't really checked it. Gonna turn off broil, take out my top row, and they are indeed sweating, but they're still round and therefore speckled. Everyone, I present to you the Yoshi Cookie from Super Mario World. Impress! Impress at a kid's party, a children's party. Are kids and children the same thing? Oh, because. Anyways, look at how delicious they look. Now, if you're expecting me to burn my mouth, I'm not going to. I have patience and self-control. Bon appetit! Your Yoshi cookies are served! Be sure to subscribe.